Hello everyone, I'm Mark Snodgrass, and today I wanted to cover creating deep links in Domo uh, so that you can link from one page to another and automatically apply a filter to it. So if you don't know, you can create HTML links in your table card, for instance, and it will take you from uh, one page to another. So you see this link just goes to a standard uh, domo page with no filters in there and then that's that's fine and dandy but then the user would have to then uh, select you know type in something in the filters here in order to apply a filter or something like that but what if we could skip that step for them and uh, automatically apply that filter for them so let's take a look at that so let's go here and if we go to this, this first one so you can see what a regular link looks like. Um, I think that's this, this one here. So we're using the concat function and then the a href and then you're putting in the page URL uh, that you're wanting to go to use the target equals blank to have it open up in a new window and then this is just the text that appears and then the closing a tag so that's just a standard link and i'll often break this out into different concat segments to make it a little more easier to read handle and i do find that domo has a little trouble if you try and uh, put this all into one uh, statement so that's also another reason but in order to do the deep link uh, filtering, that's going to take another step. So let's look at this um, second one. This is, um, oh, sorry, that's still the first one. Basic link here. Um, it uses what's called P filters. Uh, that's what Domo is looking for. So you put a question mark and then P filters and then a bracket. And then what is the name of the column that you're applying the filter on? So you're going to use, you're going to say column and then the name of that column and then what kind of operand. So we're going to use an in statement uh, and then the what value are we passing in. So this is passing in from that, this data set here, the claim number field in this instance. And then again, we're just closing things out and using the target blank and the claim number. And you see we've got quotes here, requires that. However, uh, Domo doesn't like that uh, so much. So if we were to um, close this and try and click on that link, you see it won't be very successful. We'll click on that. You see up in the URL, it only went so far. It really doesn't like those quotes in there. So we're going to fix that um, by using some URL encoded in equivalents. So the URL encoded equivalent of a quote is percent %22. We're going to use that over here in our next one. So if we look at the third one that's actually got things working, you see I'm replacing those quotes with percent %22 everywhere. So that's kind of repeated in here. And that makes us a friendlier link for Domo to process that. So again, we're uh, passing in the value in that row, uh, which is claim number that I'm passing in. And then this is just for display purposes here. I'm going to display uh, the actual claim number. So they're clicking on that. So that's what it renders out. Like to display. And then if we then click on this link. You'll see up in the URL, it actually processes it friendly. And we get that going, it's gonna go through. You see it process, adds that filter then automatically in here. And then we're filtered down to that value on this page. And so then all the cards on this page are actually filtered to that value. So it's pretty handy, pretty, it takes you um, all the way in there, makes it, uh, experience a lot better for the user on there and not too hard to put together it may take some trial and error you do have the ability to actually pass multiple 
um, values in there, but I'm choosing not to in this. I think it's, one's enough for what I need to do. Um, Going to get me down to that detail that I need. So again, a percent 22, you're, this is what it's going to require. There's also a knowledge base article um, and it also gives you some sample information of what it's wanting. Again, this is um, it's actually putting in a few more. It's actually doing the URL encoding for the brackets as well. I found I didn't need that part, but I did need the percent 22 for the quotes in here and then the column name that you're going to pass in. In this instance, they're passing in a data set ID, uh, but I didn't don't need to do that for my myself, but some different options that you can use in here. So this is under sample beast mode calculations. So I'll include this link uh, at the bottom of this. So I hope you found that helpful and uh, can, you can reach out to me if you have any questions. Thanks a lot.